Yes, we knew he had a great reputation. Yes, we knew he was an all-star player. Yes, we knew he was an all-time player. But you do not know everything he brings until you see him on a regular basis. I always said you were my favorite player to watch. Always, you always never, know, you never disappoint. You crack so many jokes, I don't know if that's real or not. Oh, it's real. I'm joking. And you never disappointed. Thank you. Thank you. And you finally got on the right. I finally got on the right. <laughs> <laughs> The Celtics arrived at the All-Star break with the league's best record and were well represented in New Orleans. Their three stars all made the Eastern Conference squad, while Rondo was selected as one of the game's top young players. Hey, 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 let me see something now. Give me, give me something now. Give me something now. Have some fun. Meanwhile, Doc Rivers and his staff had the honor of coaching the Eastern Conference. And after achieving all-star status in his playing days, Doc had now come full circle, making his mark as a head coach. The players respect Doc. Doc is a born leader. And I think the players sense that. We got, I don't want to hear it. I am not listening to it. Now, I know. That's fire, man. No, it's a difference. It's a difference. I was composed. No. When he pushed me, I didn't snap back. You got, to, but you got two fouls. I know I'm gonna foul out the game. But Kevin, think about it. Five point game. You, you have to sit you. We go in the quarter down 13. Right? I, I know I'm right, but thank you. <laughs> Playing basketball, sometimes it, you get so tensed up, and then you look at Doc, and he'll smile at you, or he'll say something just to relax you a little bit, or relax us as a team. I'm thinking about racing the team, Scott, and if I beat anybody, that means y'all got to practice. Wait, wait, wait. Go. But even as they dominated the league, the Celtics still felt the need to fine-tune their roster. With an eye toward the playoffs, Danny Ainge signed two battle-tested veterans, Sam Cassell and P.J. Brown, and they paid instant dividends. To Pierce, Pierce driving to the basket, to KG, to Sam's gonna take it. Got it! A three-point field goal for Sam I am. The Celtics come to San Antonio and beat the Spurs. It seemed that everything the Celtics touched had turned to gold. Garnett takes it in high and comes down hard. The big ticket. The Boston Celtics have swept the Texas Triangle. Boston had not only lived up to the hype, they exceeded it. With a league-best 66 wins, the biggest single-season turnaround in NBA history. Boston would open the playoffs against the eighth-seeded Atlanta Hawks, and after a storybook regular season, their title hopes couldn't have been higher. This is such an extraordinary part of the year. Uh, I think this is when you really feel as though the season, season begins. Uh, everybody's on the quest for that championship. I was really concerned going into the playoffs about my team overall and the fact that I didn't think that we had many challenges during the regular season. Uh, had basically a zero turmoil basketball season. We didn't really have any tests. As the series began, it appeared their smooth ride would continue. Rondo isolated against Horford, left side of the floor, drives, draws contact, fall away, it's good anyway, as Rondo crashes to the floor. Oh, that looked like counted. Pierce out of the wing, high left hand dribble, zips the entry, Leon Poe catches, wow. flies in, two hand slam, and the foul. The first two games, we was, we was really flowing and, and had the ball movement, the defense was going, and we looked pretty much unstoppable. Rondo across half court, kick out, Posey, three, got it! And uh, the Hawks experiencing major problems dealing with the glare of the playoffs. They look very wide eyed, almost in shock. As expected, Boston cruised to two wins at home, and the rest of the series seemed to be a mere formality. Come in at 
a lot of guys like, yeah, man, you know, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna sweep them. The Celtics never could have imagined what was waiting for them in Atlanta, where a fired up crowd and a young Hawks team were primed for an upset. Michelle and Garnett, two man game of the turnover. Three on two. Smith. Atlanta's atmosphere was totally, totally different from what we expected. You know, we knew they'd have a crowd, but we didn't know they was going to have a crowd. To the astonishment of everyone, the Hawks soared back into the series. Everything that we were experiencing was new to us, was new to this team. In a hostile environment, during the playoffs, and so, you know, they knocked us in the mouth twice. Horford. Oh, and he's yapping at Paul Pierce. Al Horford has something to say, and Pierce is looking down there, walking toward Atlanta's bench. Pierce is hot. We thought that we were the Boston Celtics, and that's all we needed to be. Uh, all we needed to do was show up with our green uniforms on, and everything would take care of itself. And, uh, you know, we found out that that's not going to be true. No one could have envisioned the Hawks would make this a three-game series, but they have, and this best of seven is even two games apiece. Back in Boston, the Celtics restored order with a game five blowout. Pierce, high left hand dribble, down to the left side against Josh Smith, spins back into the middle, gets fouled, push wow. shot off the window and in. Next this is the team that won 66 games. But back in Atlanta for game six, they still couldn't shake the upstart Hawks. Two on one, Billy to Smith. And what once appeared unthinkable was now a reality. Rondo for three, short, game's over. And the Atlanta Hawks have found a way to win three games on their home floor. And the series everyone thought would be over in a heartbeat is going the distance. Unbelievable. You would have never believed it. The Celtics hadn't expected to need their home court advantage this soon, but they were glad to have it. Game seven, we're at the house. Everybody's going to be in the building. The fans going to be rowdy. Looking to get this win today. That place, when you step in there, it's electrifying. Um, they ready to go from the start. Them fans, it's, it's unbelievable. Kevin gets into his, you know, routine, you know, all of a sudden it explodes even more. Finally, the Hawks came down to earth as the Celtics crushed their upset dreams. Hand away, Allen. Open three. Got it. Oh. Another exclamation point. Finds the trailer Pierce. Behind the back to Garnett. Scored and the foul. It is beyond anyone's wildest dreams the degree to which the Celtics are dominating. We knew that we couldn't be beat at home. Uh, that was one thing we knew. Just at home was someplace special. A blowout victory in game seven, and the Celtics now move on to face the Cavaliers in round two. If the Celtics had needed a test, it was clear that they had found it and passed it. The Atlanta series, um, I actually thought it was the best thing that could have happened to our basketball team. Well, we learned a lot about ourselves through this, and uh, I don't know what message the league uh, took from this, but. Um, We've been trying to send uh, messages throughout the year. Or when you come here, this is our home court. We're comfortable here, and this is how we play here. Awaiting the Celtics were the defending conference champions, the Cleveland Cavaliers, and their superstar, the incomparable LeBron James. The Cavaliers were a very, very good team. They were battle-tested. They had just come off of their NBA Finals appearance a year ago. And LeBron is just a special talent. He's just hard to stop. One guy can't stop him. So uh, we knew this was, this was going to be one of our toughest tests. The Celtics would tackle that test the same way they had approached every challenge all season. Not as individuals, but as a team. 
Together, they would make sure that nothing came easy for the NBA's leading scorer. They are making LeBron James into a jump shooter. They're saying, you're not going to beat us with your strength. LeBron spinning, jumping backwards from the baseline. Very tough shot, no good. Rebound Rondo. He's human. Rondo lead for Pierce, steps around Delonte West. Ooh, he scores off the window, and the Celtics have a double-digit lead. It's a team defense here. We're not asking for one guy to go out and stop their best player. We're asking for everybody, let's stop their best player. LeBron James in traffic. Oh, great job challenging every shot. Everybody's on the string. Somebody goes to help, somebody helps him, and then somebody helps the helper, you know, and it just never ends, and that's been a staple of our team. Goes up, blocked. It's getting worse for LeBron. It's got to be in his head now. And once we establish our defensive presence, you know, it's very difficult for any guy or any, any team to score on us. Corralling LeBron and clamping down on his teammates, Austin won the first two games at home. The way Garnett diving on the floor, and then a turnover. Here comes Garnett, here comes the roar, and a foul. Impressive win for the Celtics here tonight once again. The defense on LeBron James, I mean, how shocked are you that he's 8 of 42 in two games? Uh, that's what we try to do. When you look at their team, LeBron is what makes them go. And if we can somehow control him, we control their team. And, you know, with the help of the guys around me, we've been able to do that. As the scene shifted to Cleveland, the Celtics once again enjoyed the comfort zone of a two games to none lead. But just as they had against the Hawks, they would stumble into another bump in the road, allowing the Cavaliers to climb off the ropes and get right back in the series. Driving on West, laid it up, and LeBron blocked the shot. Into the fourth court come the Cavaliers. West, left wing, fires and hits a three ball. And the Cavaliers push further in front. Over to LeBron, down deep to Virgil, muscles it up, rim it in, and foul. This would be their fourth straight road loss. Exactly. All of a sudden now, mentally, they've got to deal with that. It was on their mind because everyone was talking about it uh, every day. Well, you won at home, can you win on the road? The story would be repeated in game four, as inexplicably, the same team that dominated in Boston unraveled in Cleveland, and the Celtics' control of the series had now slipped away as the surging Cavaliers would pull even at two games apiece. A Smith screen, Hoji will defend. Oh! LeBron James with no regard for human life! Cavaliers did what they needed to do. Now the pressure is back on the ball from Celtics. Any rhyme or reason why you would be able to be so great on the road during the regular season have had these struggles in the postseason so far? There's no excuses for it, but I'm sure if we had that answer, then uh, we wouldn't be probably sitting up here talking about what we're talking about. But we will make adjustments and uh, try to turn this thing around. But for the Celtics, the troubling pattern of playoff inconsistency would only continue. Again, they rose up on their home floor to win the pivotal game five. But as if according to script, they would lose their chance to close out the series on the road in game six. And now, they were facing another deciding game. Looks of resignation on the faces of the Boston Celtics. They're going back to Boston for game seven. It's going to be electrifying, definitely, in that building. And I make sure my troops are ready uh, for this game seven. And, you know, we can, we can win. We know we can win. So we got to just go out there and do it. The Celtics had the advantage of having game seven on their home floor but they also faced the daunting prospect that one of the most feared players in the NBA might just be ready to explode. We knew coming in that LeBron, he hadn't had that really big game yet. I mean, he's had some special moments. He had did some things here and there in the series, but he hadn't had one of those monster LeBron games, and we knew that he was due for one. It's a sudden death game. Whoever wins advances. Whoever loses, watch the rest of the playoffs from their living room couch. If there was one game I didn't want, it was game seven against Cleveland. There's an old saying, you don't want to get to game seven when the best player's on the other team. And you don't want to take that chance uh, because he's capable of being great that night. And that was my fear. Get right, get right, get right. Before the game, I said, you know, how disappointed would it be for us 
you know, to go home this early after all the expectations. Three questions right here. Do I really want it? Do I really want it? And what can I do so we get it? So we yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah. Do your part. Let's go, baby. The Cavaliers knew that their superstar could rise to the occasion. The question was, which Celtic would step forward to match him? And the player who accepted the challenge was Paul Pierce. LeBron, strong down the left side, gets Perk up in the air, ducks around him, pushes it off the glass and gets the roll. Pierce up makes the three, steps to 17 feet, jumper switch. You want Paul Pierce to start off right there, your emotional leader. Now LeBron pulls up for his long two and it's good, the answer on Paul Pierce. You're gonna see a shootout between these two guys. Pierce again splits the trap, drives right down the middle, scoops to the left hand off the window and in. Pierce is chewing him up here in game seven. We've adopted to this, this team of everyone has to step up, but we do it together, it's not just one guy. But uh, that night, Paul needed to step up for us. Ron and Pierce going at it, they're talking to each other. I love it, this is what it's about. Great move, flips it with the right hand and gets the roll. He has 20 of their 34 points. Pierce moving to his right, pull up elbow jumper, got another one! <laughs> Paul Pierce continuing to throw him down. He's in his zone. He is in a zone. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Paul Pierce, LeBron James. In an epic duel, Pierce would finish with 41 points, while James had 45. But while Paul's heroics kept Boston in the lead for most of the game, LeBron would bring Cleveland back in the final minutes. James with the steal. Here he goes. And James makes it a one-point game. Everything's got to be hard. We got to take care of the ball, all right? Move the ball and run our stuff, all right? That's what we got to do. Pierce had carried the Celtics on his back, but now in this moment of truth, he returned to their philosophy of sharing the burden and the ball. Pierce down the left side, kicks to the corner. Eddie House bounce pass. P.J. Brown, he's open. He shoots and he knocks it down. P.J. Brown, the unlikely hero. And the Celtics go up by three. The outcome was still hanging in the balance, and fittingly, it would fall to Pierce to try and preserve the win. The Celtics' lead is three. Loose on the floor, Pierce grabs it, screams timeout, and he gets it. Paul Pierce making every big play for the Celtics today. And as he stepped to the foul line with a chance to put the game away, it seemed that the fabled Celtic mystique was alive and well. It is very quiet in here as the first free throw bounces off the back rim, pops in the air, and goes right down the middle. Once I shot the free throw, I just I just knew the way it came out of my hand, it was off. Because if you look at my body language, it's, when it goes up and it bounces up, I'm like, oh, it's, it's off. And then it goes in, and it's like a smile comes on my face. And that's when I'm like, you know, that had to be somebody watching over me. And I was like, that's red right there. That's him. He's in the building tonight. Seven is history in every way there is. And how about Paul Pierce, magnificent, with 41 points. The longtime Celtic coming through with certainly one of the biggest games of his life. Tonight was basically get the ball to Paul Pierce, get the hell out the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it was. And don't need y'all to ask me no questions. That was the game plan. That's what we did. It's man now, right? It's an emotional win. It's good and everything. We enjoy it tonight. We still got a lot more business left. Hey, man, hey, hey, listen, more just business. What, what Paul just said, and we said it yesterday. On Tuesday, we're exactly where we thought we would be. Game one at home against the